Hi and hello guys, I am KD. Today in this video we are going to see how to create shooting system in Unity using Pole. Yes, let's go for it. This is my gun image, I have created it now, but I forgot to record that. I have created the image for 4 different conditions, normal, firing, no ammo and reloading. But this is the second part of the video. First we are going to see how to do the main system. For that create the empty game object rename to gun and create another empty game object child of gun rename as muzzle. This is your bullet spawn point. Select the gun, create the sprite render component and select the image. If the image looks big in your case too, then increase the pixel per unit and hit apply. It will reduce the size. Adjust the place where you want your gun should be. Create another empty game object with the sprite render component. Now select the bullet as the image. Adjust the place and copy the transform component. Paste it into the muzzle transform. Now both positions are equal. Create prefab of bullet. Delete the bullet object. Select the gun and create flow machine and create new flow for gun. Delete the start node. From update node, we have to check if the player clicks fire button. I am using Q. If the player press Q key, then we want to spawn the bullet. Before creating that, select the prefab and create two components. One is box collider 2D and another one is rigid body 2D. Remove the gravity by changing the value to 0 and change the collision detection mode to continuous. Tick each trigger value in box collider 2D. Save the object. To spawn the object in Unity from flow, drag and type instantiate. This is the function to spawn the object in inside Unity. The one we want is with original position and rotation. Original is the gun prefab, that means which prefab we want to copy. Position and rotations are exactly same as muscle game object. It is a child of gun, script holding object. To get the child, type get child, select the node with the index. In Unity, the number starts from 0. The first child in is labeled as 0, the second as 1. Like that. Muzzle is first, so the index should be 0. And type get position and rotation, connect those to corresponding node. I make some room because still now it has two error. First, let's create main system and then we will fix the error one by one. Because you have to know what are all the errors come when we create and how to find the solution with the error. Then only you can able to create the game properly and also fix the error easily. Next we want to move the bullet after it create. For that create the flow inside the game object and delete the two nodes. We need fixed update instead of update because if my system runs on 60 fps and yours runs on 120 fps means update call 60 times a second in my system and 120 times in your system then the bullet speed is twice than my system. We don't want that. We need constant speed in all system. Fixed update calls 50 frames for all types of system then we need to set velocity for bullet to move. Separate the value and create the variable called travel speed. Connect it to X. Now let's see our script performance. If I press Q, the bullet gets spawned and move in the X axis. Yes, works fine. But what is the bug? Okay, if I turn and press Q, bullet spawn and move towards right and also it facing right. It should be turned left, but it's not. And also, if I hold key, the bullet spawn frequently. And the final bug is our hierarchy loads with hundreds of bullet clone. Even it's not on the screen. But we don't want that. Okay, let's fix one by one. But before that, if you want to work with me and know how to fix the bug, I give exact copy of the project in the description below. Pause the video, go and download that. First, let's see how to make the bullet looks to the player direction. In previous video, we have created the player control tutorial. In that, we are flipping the character by changing the scale. Actually, it doesn't change the direction. For that, we want to flip the character by rotating it. Create the node to set rotation. Expand the value if player facing is right is true, then we want our player looks right. So don't change anything. If, if it is false, then we want to rotate the player in y axis by 180 degree. Now our bullet also rotates to 180 degree if player facing left because the gun is child of player object. Even the bullet get rotated, it moves right instead of left. Now let's see how to make the bullet flow in the correct direction because the flow doesn't know in which direction the bullet is looking. To fix that, we want to get the direction of the bullet. For that, type transform direction. Select this with the separated value. Now connect that travel speed variable to x axis and direction node to velocities. The direction node gives 1 if the player facing right. If the player facing left, it gives minus 1. Then our speed variable get multiplied with the direction node and gives the value in positive and negative depends on the player direction. Now the bullet flow to its facing direction. Now let's see how to limit the fire per second. 
to do that we need to create new variable for boolean i called it can fire make true as default now before we instantiate the bullet prefab we have to check if we can able to fire or not if true then we can fire and after we fire can fire variable set to false for that hold alt and drag the variable it change to set then drag and type timer and from complete Again set the can fire variable but this time to true. Duration is the value how long can fire variable takes to reset to true. If it is 3 we can able to fire once for every 3 seconds. See the variable will reset to true after 3 seconds. But this is not what we want. To even simplify this instead of entering the value in time we need to enter amount of bullet want to fire every second. Normally it is the universal form. To get that create the variable of fire rate and enter the amount how many times you want to fire the bullet for second. Instead of directly connecting to the duration we need to divide the value with 1. Sorry we have to divide 1 with this value then it will automatically convert it into second. Now user can able to fire 7 times for max per second. Now we are going to see how to remove the bullet clone. To remove it we need to check for two conditions. The bullet should hit something or it will automatically remove after some time. Ok for that we need on trigger enter 2D and to check if the bullet hits something use null check node. It will null if the game object hit nothing. If it hit the node returns not null. From not null type game object destroy and select this. The object you want to destroy is self. Next if the bullet hit nothing then it should destroy after some time. Drag and type destroy. Select the one with t which is time. Create another variable called a lifetime. Enter how long your object should be on the game. Connect it here. Now you see after enter second the bullet clone will destroy itself. Even it doesn't hit nothing. Let's check if it destroy after touching something. Yes that also works fine. And that's it in this video. If you like this hit the like and share with your friends. Don't forget to hit subscribe to my channel. And hit bell icon to get notified when we upload new video. If you want me to make video based on unity leave this in comment I will do that. Until then 